Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is finally here, guys. The last week of Team of the Season. Before we get into the Euros and all that sort of stuff, we've got one last week of Ultimate Tots, and it is here today. But EA is bringing back one very interesting twist with the SBCs this week, which might even be more hyped than the actual Ultimate Tots itself. I want to talk about that today and all the leaks surrounding end of an era SBCs and of course how the market might be moving today as well prices have been dropping for a while because of this big weekend upcoming how are they going to move today on this game if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new let's quickly cover yesterday's content because we actually did have a couple of decent things yesterday preparing us for a busy day of ultimate tots today first of all marquee matchups 50k pack we don't talk about this often do this 50k pack you'll get some free coins from it that's a decent sbc we do again have a daily login as well and i was really hoping that the daily login this time around since it's been giving some of those guaranteed tots packs from the specific leagues i was hoping that it would drop something here for the guaranteed ultimate tots pack it does not it's a regular tots guaranteed but of course daily logins are as easy as it gets and those are some decent packs so we'll just get a regular tots guaranteed from that so make sure to get that done every single day and back Back to SBCs just for a quick second. We had one last Serie A SBC player. It was a goalkeeper, as my menus are looking really glitched out at the moment. Anyways, Chesney getting an SBC. Six foot five Chesney. Um, first promo card in a while. He's got every single goalkeeper playstyle regular, not playstyle plus, of course. And I don't know, 53,000 coins for a keeper that if you're using a Serie A team would link. Of course, the Juve links. There's a couple of Serie A players that you might have in your team with those. I don't know. It's an okay SBC. We don't get too many goalkeeper SBCs, but this one doesn't really seem to hit different. I'm sure he's pretty decent in game, but it's not like a wow type of SBC. It's just kind of there. So if that is interesting to you, go ahead and get that done. And the last thing of content yesterday was the cup, ultimate tots cup yet again. And it's hard to see with my menus being glitched down in the background right now, but I went and got this cup done first day. That never happens. If you guys watch the streams, we did this. I think it was maybe like eight or nine games it took us to complete this. And uh, it's actually really easy because the games are shortened and it was not working correctly at first, guys. Actually, in the ultimate tots cup mode, it was not counting the three tots cards correctly, but it is working now. The 8320 is the biggest pack out of this. You get a two guaranteed tots packs and i do believe you get one at the very end so three guaranteed team of the season packs along with some other good ones like an 85 double and 84 double in here this is probably the most worth cup to play and i think you even got xp from it as well it's literally playing this cup got me to level 40 and i claimed all these other packs like the 88 3 and 87 5 and the 85 times 20 i know a lot of you guys may be done with this season already so this xp means nothing to you but that was kind of a, a big piece of content yesterday that and not a lot of us were expecting, but we actually got. So make sure you're trying to get that cup done because I think it is worth doing. Now, let's get into today's conversation with Ultimate Team in the season, guys. And of course, we know we're getting some of the biggest names re-released in packs today. They're going to be back, right? That's the hype of Ultimate Tots. But I'm going to be completely honest, guys. The pack weight's not going to get magically better, and not everybody's going to be packing, you know, Kane and Mbappe and Vinny and Holland today like their regular team of the seasons. The pack weight is always, for ultimate team of the season, pretty bad, like always. There's going to be a lot of high-rated cards in packs today. There's going to be a couple of low-rated ones that they fit in just to kind of be pack filler, but ultimate tots is never like as fun in terms of pack weight as it seems like it should be just because EA doesn't want to give out all these top tier team of the seasons to everybody, right? So I'm trying to set the expectation there because uh, yeah, it's hype and it's it's fun to grind for and open up some packs for. Shoot, I've got packs that I'm going to open up today that I've saved a couple of 84 times sevens, a couple of 84 plus player picks, right? All the packs that I just got from that objective section, you know, the 88.3, the 87.5, the 85 times 20. I'm saving those for today because why not, right? Give yourself a chance at packing something big, but I want to kind of set that expectation there because it's not like the weight is super OP for Ultimate Tots. And I think that's going to actually impact the market today. I want to get into that soon. But here's the real question. I want to clear up some confusion, guys, because you hear about players like Messi, 
Ronaldo, um, getting into ultimate tots, but they're, they were a part of the mixed league of team of the season, right? I think today, guys, some of those players that are in mixed league ultimate tots are not going to be in packs. So Messi, Ronaldo, maybe like Mares or um, Alderweireld, let's say just a couple of random players off the top of my mind that could be in from the mixed leagues. I don't think they're in packs today. I still think we're going to have moments Neymar and mixed tots number five, because according to EA's website, I think they're still in packs until Sunday. There's nothing on the game that I could find. There's no loading screen for Neymar. There's no other news about Mixed Tots 5 that says that they are going out of packs today on Friday and every other Tots team that is Mixed League has been in packs until Sunday. So that's kind of one thing I wanted to talk about. There's a lot of confusion with that. I don't think they're going to be re-releasing Ronaldo and Messi today. I could be wrong. There's no for real leaks on that yet, and we'll just have to wait to see what EA does. But that's just my speculation based off of EA's website and what this says right here. So that's just one thing I wanted to mention there. Here's the other thing that's even bigger news, and it's already impacting the market. This pack code that was added yesterday, we'll get to those packs in a second, but it's this specifically they changed the pack code EA did on the back end of the game that mentioned TOTS moments before. This is the guaranteed ultimate TOTS pack that we would see next Wednesday, right? Like we see for every other league, the guaranteed TOTS packs for the main league is on Wednesday. And this is the three player pack as a part of weekend league rewards. EA changed the text of these packs from saying three TOTS or TOTS moments to saying three TOTS or TOTS plus which a lot of people saw this and said, hmm, think about it. The guaranteed TOTS packs only give out the players that are in that specific league of TOTS when they're in packs, right? Like for the Serie A guaranteed TOTS pack, all you had was team of the season and team of the season moments players from the Serie A. That was the text of the pack. And EA just changed this to say TOTS or TOTS plus. That kind of is confirming without saying that TOTS moments cards might not be a part of ultimate team of the season or at least the main league of ultimate team of the season of cards that are going to be released right like these top five league players that is what it seems and since people are starting to catch that drift and since that same thing happened last year when we go back and look at things tots moments cards of all different leagues of all different types have started to go up on the market because people are saying wait a second if these cards aren't re-released in packs today as a part of Ultimate Tots, they're going to go back up, right? They're not going to get supplied and people are going to want to go out and use them. And that absolutely could be the case. Take a look at some of these players like Joao Felix going from 1.2 million coins all the way up to almost 1.4. Um, there was a lot of cards that went up yesterday. Alfonso Davies went from 800K and even had peaks of 932,000 coins. We were watching a lot of these cards yesterday on stream. I even bought a couple and invested in a couple because it just seemed like these cards are very rare as the Tots moments. And this same thing happened last year. I went back and looked. I didn't even remember it. Uh, these TOTS moments cards were not included in Ultimate Team of the Season, and some of them did go up considerable amounts into the weekend of Ultimate TOTS, again, because there's a lot of gameplay demand. So I've invested in a few. Um, I did catch some really low bids on Oop Meccano and a Kingsley Coman at 375k. I was very happy with those prices. Here's what I would tell you to do. Watch the market closely. If you think there's a card that is rare, that people would want to go out and put into their weekend league squads, you can see I've got a bunch of these TOTS moments added to my watch list if the prices get low again today before content which may not happen too much because i think a lot of people are starting to catch the drift of what might be happening with tots moments um, some of these could go up now here's the other caveat not all these cards are going to absolutely fly today right that's not what i'm trying to say i'm just saying some of them are very rare and very hyped like i picked up taram at 530,000 coins he's up to about 560 um, I think he goes higher today, potentially, depending on the SBC that we get. So watch these TOTS moments cards for real. Now, here's the other pack code that we skipped over that I wanted to mention. Some of these cards that are TOTS moments are still going to get hit with some pack supply. That 90 plus times 5 that we talked about a couple of days ago, this is undoubtedly going to be a store pack, especially because it's tradable. That one was updated to a 92 times 3 that includes live TOTS, TOTS, TOTS moments, and TOTS plus. So all the different TOTS cards will be packable from multiple different versions of probably store packs, if we're being completely honest. Um, so there will be a little bit of supply on the market from the people that will probably open those. Um, 
So it's not to say that like Tots Moments cards won't have any supply or Tots Live cards won't have any supply. They probably will. You'll see some first owner fresh ones listed up on the market, but there won't be as many as the cards that get re-released into the Ultimate Tots Impact Squad, which is why people are thinking that they might be a good investment. So that's just one thing to really watch closely for today in terms of the market on this game. So that's kind of like what's happening in packs and all that sort of stuff. We'll get back to the market in a second. What I want to talk about that's got even more hype today is what's going down in the SBC section, because this is really what's going to carry this Ultimate Tots promo. It's the SBCs. And especially with this leak yesterday, it's looking like there's some potential for good SBCs. FIFA Trading on Mania said Ultimate Tots content will be similar to last year's with daily end of an era and flashback SBCs daily, guys. Remember last year, this was the time where we were hoping for that flashback or end of an era Zlatan that we never had. That was this time, literally one year ago. He's saying for the whole next week, we're going to get a daily SBC player. He said, we don't know many names yet, but most likely players such as Cruz, Royce, Martial, and Thiago Silva. Those are the types of players that he expects to see as a part of this. Guys, end of an eras are always good. Like, I mean, we've had a very few number of end of an era SBCs this year. I can think of Rapino. I can think of Ugo Yoris, who I believe I still have in my club. But all of the end of an era SBCs have been pretty solid. Is this car design even searchable? Flashback. It's, it's so weird. I don't know why they don't allow us to search the end of an era. If I just search Yoris, I know I have him. So he's there. But these types of cards, right? These are always pretty decent. They're always nostalgia-filled cards for players who are either moving on from a club they've been at for a long time or retiring in total. And guys, Thiago Silva, right? Royce Cruz. Some of those guys have just recently announced that they are no longer either returning to the club they played for for ages or they're just retiring from football altogether. There's a lot of hype because at this stage of the year, those player SBCs are going to be pretty decent, right? Marco Royce is 515,000 coins. He's down. He's one of those Tots Moments cards that we see a leak of him getting a potential SBC. And I think his price has dropped probably for good reason because an SBC Royce hopefully is at this level of his Tots court or above, right? That's the potential of hype with these end of an eras. Everybody loves end of an eras. They're always fun. Now, Again, you might see some of these names be like, Martial, what what, what era, bro? You know what I'm saying? So it may not be an end of an era. It could be a flashback as well. And there's basically EA just dropping a bunch of SBCs this week. So it's fun. We won't complain. We'll see who they put out, right? But who's today? This is the question, right? This is what matters the most today on Friday. FIFA Trading Romania tagged a very popular Chelsea fan account uh, yesterday as well. After tweeting this out, he mentioned Thiago Silva. And it's kind of assumed, based off this cryptic tweet, that Thiago Silva is either leaked or is coming today. Probably, maybe both of those. He could be the SBC today. If Thiago Silva gets a card, I don't know if any of you guys used this Thiago Silva earlier on in the year. He was different. I had Gold VVD in my team, and obviously we remember Gold VVD is like the most meta center back in his game. This guy replaced Gold VVD. He was diffy. He was so good in game. His tackles were incredible. He had anticipate plus. And can you imagine a three play style plus Thiago Silva with decent stats? That's what EA needs to deliver here. A hype card for a, one of the most well-known center backs in the world right now still playing. And of the past like 10, 15 years, honestly, this guy has been a main name as a center half in the world of football, that's going to be a very hype SBC. If you have center backs, specifically like Saliba or other prem center backs, you'd probably want to be careful with them if that comes, whenever it does. Of course, it depends on how good the SBC is, but that's another thing with end of an era's is they always have hype for the players that are that are getting them, right? There's always that nostalgia piece, which makes the SBCs even more worth doing. Watch out for leaks today related to who might be our SBC. Links to a Thiago Silva, maybe some Chelsea cards. That will be something to watch. Or if it's Tony Cruz or if it's Marco Royce, you could see some links to those cards going up as well. That's just one thing I want to mention. Whoever the SBC is today, there will be hype for players that link to them and probably some prices falling for players in that same position, especially in this same league as people sell to get that new card in their team. Let's talk about other content, right? It's a normal promo Friday. We're probably going to get somebody in objectives. We're probably going to get some sort of evolution as well. Evos, I don't even know what else to say. EA, do something. Like it's been 
really quiet in evolutions recently so hopefully they drop something today on this game ultimatized evos give us something good to get excited about there we need that now here's what i want to talk about for the remainder of the video is the market today because we've been saying that the market's probably going to drop and prices are going to go down after ultimate team this season and even during it right and i still stand by that but fridays as you guys know in the past couple of weeks have been absolutely phenomenal days to trade and i don't think that's going to be any different today on this game because not every single team in the season card is getting re-released right in packs today as a part of ultimate tots some of these guys are like the live tots and the uh the uh, tots moments cards we're specifically watching because they're not getting re-released today even some of the regular tots cards like i don't know bastoni he might not get into ultimate tots today you know that could happen what's going to happen right people who are very excited to play for the brand new updated ultimate tots foot champs rewards are going to be going and buying teams a lot of people are going to want to get their best teams possible to be chasing the best rewards possible of the entirety of team of the season right a rank five or a rank four this week is going to hit different with 94 plus picks a rank one is going to be absolutely nuts there's going to be a ton of gameplay demand today so since the market's been dropping off in anticipation of ultimate team of the season and since i think the pack weight on the cards that do get released is going to be a little bit underwhelming I am expecting a pretty sizable and pretty good bounce back on the market as people go and buy cards. They see what the content is. Yeah, sure, cards could drop based on whatever SBC we get. Maybe center backs drop like this Uf Makano. He could go down in price if we get a sick Tiago Silva today. That sort of thing could happen. But... I think the rest of the market in places where there is demand is going to rebound halfway well, even on some of the TOTS cards, right? I'm going to show you some graphs last year of what happened during Ultimate TOTS. It's kind of similar to what happens every year for like Black Friday and Team of the Year, right? Everybody's so hyped up and anticipating that mega week of content. The sales and the sell-off happen, 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 and then it kind of reaches a point a couple of days before and then once the promo actually comes out, prices usually jump back up because there's so much hype for the content that's come out. And then people need to go back out and buy cards and play in the weekend league and play those games, right? Last year, Fede Valverde Tots didn't get into ultimate team of the season. He went from 569K and rose all the way up to almost 700,000 coins on the weekend because there was a big bounce back because there wasn't a center mid that was dropped that made his card drop or another player uh, or like he wasn't re-released in packs basically those are the two biggest reasons right i think some of the same stuff could happen today like if bastoni doesn't get re-released like you know he's been around in 1.2 million coins he's 1.1 right now he's one of the best center backs in this game we're heading just out of syria team of the season syria cards are on people's minds and their teams that's a card you want to watch today. Here's another one. Bukayo Saka. Look what happened in the past two weeks in this card as people have gotten ready for Ultimate Tots. He's went from 1.3 mil down to like 1.1. There's a very decent possibility if Bukayo Saka does not get into Ultimate Tots today, he goes back up like 100, 150,000 coins. I'm not saying you're going to see everything on the entire market fly today. I'm saying the most popular cards in the very meta places of cards that people will want to use do have potential to rebound it back. That's why I've got a whole bunch of cards here on my watch list that I want to kind of keep an eye on. Just because whoever doesn't get dropped today in packs probably could move back up. Again, you have to be careful and you have to notice things like what SBC player did we get? What other players are people buying right now that they want to link to other players in their teams? What cards are the most meta? All those things have to be taken into account. But I think there will be a good time to buy cards today early on, either before content or after, and sell them around the start time of Weekend League and a couple hours after that, guys. I think it's going to be in a market that's going to continue to drop long term, at least for the next week or so as well, especially with Euros content upcoming. We are not, we're not even talking about Euro stuff today, guys, but there is a lot of news to come with that. We're starting to get some more rumors and info about it. The market's still going to keep going down. Today's just kind of like a blip up in that continual downtrend so that is one thing i wanted to mention today i think it'll be a great day to trade we're going to be trying to make some coins it's always good to make coins on fridays as a part especially even if you're just trying to like time a buy like let's say you just want to buy somebody to play your foot champs games today and you're like nate when do i buy him right hopefully that gives you some context on what prices to watch for and what kind of cards could be rebounding a bit today depending on how content goes so that's kind of what I wanted to mention there. The other thing I want to talk about is SBC fodder. There's going to be a lot of packs open today. 
saved up packs even because people save up packs like, oh my goodness, I'm going to pack something sick from Ultimate Tots and then, well, you see the pack rate, right? But I think fodder is going to drop in the first two to three hours of packs being opened after content that's the time to pounce if you want to get on fodder it's going to be in most investable then on bids 85s and above are going to be the buys 85s and above if we're getting daily sbcs for uh, end of an era or flashback players that's a lot of SBC demand, not even to mention some of the other upgrade packs that will be out, which will have a lot of hype because people will be wanting to try to pack the Ultimate Tots players. Fodder is going to be an investment, guys, happening, I think, later today in the evening. That'll be the time to get in. I would buy 85s all the way up to 90 rated cards, and I would also say team of the season investing. I'm hoping that Tots cards drop a little bit today. The cheapest Tots card on the market right now is 20, I think 21 or 22K. How much? Last night, they were 21.22. Okay, there's still 22,000 coins. Get on bids for TOTS cards today. If they drop down to like 21, 20 to 21,000 coins, I think is a good investment price. I expect these cards to go up. I do. 20,000 right there. Can I get that bid? Yeah, probably not, right? I think bids on these TOTS cards will be the way to go. Uh, basically, here's what I noticed, right? EA just gave us an objective that gives out not one, not two, but three guaranteed TOTS packs. If they're giving out three guaranteed TOTS packs for a objective from the cup, for Ultimate TOTS Cup, uh, that means that we're going to need TOTS cards. Probably every single one of these end of their SBCs coming out is going to require Team of the Seasons. So I think it's more of a long-term play, but I think it's a good shout if you want to stock your club, if you want to do it for investment purposes or just to get yourself prepared for more SBCs to come. I would stock some team of the seasons in the club in the low 20K range. I know in previous years, some of them went to like 50 or 60K. I don't think that's going to happen this year, but you never know. Like EA can do some EA things. If they don't bring out any more tradable tot supply in other areas, you could see team of the seasons get really expensive. And I think that's why a club stock in a low 20K range is a good idea to do so big day today guys really big day and also the end of team of the season man i'm also looking forward to this uh, day today and with this content because it's literally the end of a promo that drags on the longest of any other promo throughout the entire year six seven weeks of this thing man uh we're ready we're ready for the euro stuff i'm ready the seasons are over for football we've uh watched all the league football we can watch inject the euros inject copa america that's what's really starting to excite me about this game as well so that's the video for today guys i might oof that best owning price is so tempting i really don't feel like he's going to be in this ultimate tots team today but watch out for panic watch out for low prices before and after content today and there should be good opportunities to make some coins and best of luck opening packs we'll be doing it all on stream watching everything unfold making some trades opening some packs and maybe even playing some weekend league that link is down below in the description if you want to check us out over on twitch and i will see you guys in that stream today if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it comment below if you have any questions as well and subscribe if you're new it's been nathan account see you guys in the stream today peace out